There's Dan. Striking a pose. <laughs> just wanted to give you an idea of how big this thing is that we just found. <clears throat> this thing this thing is simply, I mean, I'm really happy because we weren't finding like anything crazy today. You guys, this, I just want you to let you know, this is on Vail Mountain. This is where people ski. Right through there is the first ski slope. Um, this is, this, this work here is incredible. Dan, have you seen how matted down it is inside? Yeah, like heavily used. Alright, I'll back off and show you the structure, but I wanted to show you. Oh, wow, look at, look at the butt marks. See footprint? Did you hear that? Yeah, there's the bikes. Huh. I thought it was something walking in leaves. Oh, okay. I don't see footprints, it's too hard up here, but there is some loose dirt here. What? No. Dude, they've been they've been sitting there. Like I can see the cheek marks. Could be the probably the four, one, two, three, four. That were that the lady saw yesterday. We had no lady, she had no idea what she was seeing. Her dog is going ballistic because we pushed these four Bigfoot up the hill. And she just happened to be on this walking trail. There's people around here, you guys. Just not ever here. They'll be right, you know, 100, 200 yards that way on a trail. And then just people just don't come off trail here. Um, and they're always on mountain bike. If you're up here, you're on a mountain bike. It means you were... So anyway, look at this thing. The sheer size of this thing is pretty impressive. So Dan, you were just saying you were just saying you uh, wanted to find a shelter, and then ten minutes later, here it is. Well, good. Why don't you find us some Bigfoot to film? Did we hear a whistle just now, or no? You're kidding me. Right, we got a whistle up the hill. to film in my spots. Dan, do you see this? No. A seat. Yeah, this is not from, from deer or elk. I know what that looks like. I've been seeing that my whole life. It's right next to that, and it's right there. Overlooking that trail. Look at that. You can see everyone coming a mile away. Down that trail, you guys. There's the bike trail. These are downhill uh, mountain bike. You have to have certain mountain bikes to be on here. Suspension and all that. And they'll just come flying down and you have to use a gondola to get up to the top and this is the furthest um, western trail on the mountain and it's right there and then but you really don't have a view up to me i'm very secluded and where he sits is down here like this his head would be like here can't see his head unless he looks up it's pretty cool oh wow there's no there, there look there is no way a person did that I just, I just think of how. There's no way. It's too big. And uh, why would you? I mean, who, who, who would do that? Because if you're going to spend that much time, first of all, look, these, there's some of those sticks, Dan, are almost almost 80 feet long. This one over here and the one you're sitting on. So even if you could do it with 20 people, why wouldn't you do something that was more, like, had more shelter to it? Like, that's not really rainproof, is it? You know, actually, if you look at it, it's very sloped um, this way. Even though they kind of the water might even roll off a little bit. You know what? It's probably totally completely hidden in winter. You know, I was gonna say, as soon as there's snow on that thing, oh my god! And then, of course, the convenient little there's a little uh, toolbox in there. Some random stuff. 
There's no way. What, what person would, would put a toolbox in there? There's no way. Even if you forgot it, it's just got, it's just got the most random things in it. They, they bring them up there to make it look like there's a human. It looks like it's not done yet. It happens in a lot of researchers when they find structures, like I said, beer cans. Some human item will be inside. That's bizarre. They Because that way, if you stumble upon it, you're like, oh, this is just Charlie's thing. It's not Bigfoot. That's big. That's incredible. Wow, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about that. That is really cool. Let me see if I can get a little further back. Stan, look at the walking out of here. Look, there's another There's another one there. Another seat. Another sit spot? Yep, another seat. And then all kinds of walking right to this little ridge. Wow, look at this. Okay, this is really cool. Sorry, guys. I get excited because this is... It takes a tremendous amount of work to, to locate spots like this. I cannot tell you. This... This, this world, this is, a, this is just a vast, endless world of forest. And to find something like this. See that? And then something like that. It's just, you can see how big it is. There's Dan. Dan, did you see all this? Look. And then there's a front, there's a front fence. And then right at the front fence, there's all kinds of seats. I've never seen anything like this before. There's seats up there. You can tell they change. There's a seat up in there. Come over here and look at look at what you have to do to get here from the trail. You won't even believe it. Look at this. This is cool. This is all all dead and matted down. And then look at what they've done to obstruct. So even if you got to that, even if you walked off that trail and walked over here, you could not walk. Which I'm, I'm guarantee you never happens. You you'd have a heck of a time getting over all this. You could do it, but you'd make a lot of noise, and there's no way you'd surprise them. And this is all boxed. Again, another box. There. Goes all the way up. And we're all boxed in with all kinds of flat. Hang on. I mean, dude, really look at this. And then, did you see the barricades coming up? There's some log rods that were built. Some wood Yeah. There's one on the left here and straight Yeah, people actually snowboard through here. This is, you guys, this is like the woods where you see, like, on YouTube, and the guys, like, flying, doing backflips and stuff. This is where they'll come through here. Oh, yeah, rails. See, Bigfoot did not do that. Those are rails for snowboarders. Wow. That's so cool. All right. And then what led us up to here is there's a little, there was a little X in there. There was like some stuff going on down in here. No. Yeah, right there. Sorry, not a good pointer. And uh, just everywhere, it just looks a little strange. X is up in there. So Dan, it's actually this way then. What? So you know, there's a mountain bike over there, what? right there. Oh, yeah. They have no idea that we're here. <laughs> we're going. We're going to go that straight down that way, yeah. like right through the woods. Dude, look at the. Oh my God, look at the stuff packed down right in front of you over there. Look at that whole area over there. And you can even see that with the camera. Because they just sit here and watch these people come down on bikes. You know, I'll bet you for 30 years, not one person has ever stopped in their bicycle except to smoke marijuana or have a cigarette. You know, you'd, you'd never stop where Dan is and then walk up here for no reason. And there's a, there's like a, I'm about to say 75 degree angle going up that hill. And I know that's where they are. I know it. The first perch is straight down that way. There's all kinds of structures going on. Hey, Dan, do you see that one? <laughs> Look at that thing. 
Oh my gosh. Up in the sky. There's actually two. Now these guys went to the gondola, which is probably miles away from here. Mile maybe. And then they have all these downhills. They have like beginners, they have experts, stuff like that. Alright, so that's amazing. I'm so happy that we found this year. One more look at this before I click this off and make it a short video. I'll put this up tonight maybe. Damn, what do we call that? Man, that's cool. That's that may be one of the coolest structures. Just in the middle of the woods. Now I have a similar. Not similar, but the same type of a hangout down there. You come up here, pass all kinds of little, nothing crazy, little structures. Get to here, I'll guarantee if you were, uh, could walk up that hill somehow, um, it would be payday up top. All right, so we're gonna try to, we're gonna go back through here and try to make it back towards the truck. Um, a way that I haven't been, I'll, I'll put the camera on if I see anything interesting. Alright, so that's where, that's looking back at that structure, you just simply can't see it from where people are down here. When you're coming on the bicycle, you cannot see this structure. You got this one, it comes around and bends. Um, snow boogers actually come down through these woods. There's all kinds of X's on the ground. We, 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 we notice in this area, they make these elevated X's on the ground, kind of like that. A lot of grass cover in this one, but, but the X's that are that are perfect off the ground will be being held up by other um, sticks. It's weird. So it just shows you how different Bigfoot are, you know, in different areas. This is 20 miles or so. What's that? Look at all, I find that all interesting too. But they almost got to see me fall down again. Today. Little hangouts in there. Huh. Yeah, I would say that's today. Yeah, I would say it's the cold, but all the rest was not down. Hmm. Look at this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have all these little places they sit and they just move. Look, look who's right there. What the heck? Look. Yeah. Deer again. Is it yeah. No, it's the same one. Hey, sweet. Uh, is it a different one? Yeah. She simply does not care. She's just so used to Pete. Yeah, she needs to fatten up. Maybe that's the draw. Piles of what do you mean? Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. I didn't even see that one. Yeah. That just shows you, man, how a Bigfoot can be sitting there, you guys. I did not see that deer. It was right in front of me. Where is it? She's right there. Now she was sitting down. I'm gonna I'm gonna make her move. I just cause I want to see if it looks like that. Oh, you see the third one yet? Yeah, I see the third one. But what I want to know is if they're, they're right in the middle of all these hunting things that they, they set up. How are those deer alive? Like if that's what, if they're here hunting. The shape of these and that could be the three of those deer. Could be. That's why I want to go see where they were just, if what it looked like where they were sitting. Um, but why wouldn't those Bigfoot have eaten them deer by now? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Actually, maybe there are three left of like 20. <laughs> it, do, it does at a glance look similar to that spot we were just at but not the same as where that igl that wigwam was this is amazing this is all dirt here too No, I mean, 
see to me I would have said this looks like game because it's not a circle it's it's long you can see the length of the body of the, de of the deer where up there I'm not even talking about this spot right here we were just at but up there we're like around the structures are all round they're like butt cheeks Dan, please fall down for YouTube. <laughs> I need you to fall down. Sorry, I'm too ninja for that. You can get a million million views and still make no money on YouTube. You know, so don't think I'm doing this for the money, guys. It's, people are like, Bigfoot's the biggest... Where did I read that? Bigfoot's the biggest scam for, for, for scammers or money or whatever. And uh, I'm like, really? Because I haven't made any. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to make money? This is—I love doing this. If I could, what, what do they say? There's, it's, if you love what you do, it's not—it's not working. I mean, I, it's a love-hate relationship. I love finding that stuff, but it's uh, this deer just hanging out with me. Do that with, like, all I have to do is do that with Bigfoot and I'm good. And I quit. Actually, even if I got the best footage in the world, I would never quit. I gotta find more. I need more. Okay, so here's this downhill bike trail. And there's been quite a few bikers today for a Sunday going down here. Alright, this video is... Quite a bit. It's got to be more than five minutes, no? This video's on, I've only had this on for six minutes. Is that it? I don't know. Oh yeah, because I stopped. I started the second one, remember? Okay. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, hopefully, you got at least five minutes of the other one. I think it's amazing. I'll tell you, and it's not that easy to get that close to deer in Colorado. Like this one's super used to people. I mean, there's dinner right there. I know we're trying to look for Bigfoot guys, but I'm trying to take what I can get here. But I think that structure was worth it. All right, over and out. All right, that was, I just descended that whole thing that was further up than I realized. We found that, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna call it a wigwam until I figure out a name. All right, so I just wanna show you where I am. And you guys, this is a spot where, you know, anybody that wants to come check this place out is more than welcome. This is a public area. Um, as you can see, we have, you know, we have uh, inside places to come and park, but um, the average person would not be able to come up there and park. That's our truck. Um, but this is actually a ski slope, um, the far side, west side of Vail. And that's Vail, actually that's called Lion's Head, right there. Gondola 1 is right in there somewhere. It's Gondola 1 right there, actually. I just saw a Bigfoot. And then down further, the bigger area, down there is Val Village. You can't see it from here. So anyway, that was it. You guys, this place is sick. I mean, so here's a place that you could come anytime. I'm showing you how to get here. There's 70 right there. All you have to do is pass Vale on 70, Dale off, park anywhere. There's a parking lot actually right there, uh, right below, right down there. Free parking. Just pull it right in there. Walk right up here, and I promise you, you'll find you'll find all kinds of stuff. Especially if you're willing to really go the distance and go up and above. If if you're willing to walk a mile up that hill, and there is trails, that beautiful dirt bike trail that comes down, you can walk up. You will see all kinds of amazing things and find stuff I have not seen yet either. I mean, this is my third uh, attempt, first attempt going all the way up. So cool. Here comes Dan. Smoked him down the hill. <laughs> And then, like, we'll see here. I'll show you the structure real quick. What took you so long? I win. <laughs>